Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Today is part two of the $10 garden hose reverb for drum recording. A lot of you submitted some really cool ideas and they actually turned out great. I can't wait to show you how good these sound. Let's get started. Okay, so this first demo is just raising the hose off the ground. Uh, it is in stereo, two mics, both in the mic case, uh, waist height in front of the kit. Let's check it out. Taking a step further, some people commented, hey, I uh, put the hose in the back of the room or out away from the kit a little bit. This is where my room mics usually would be positioned, but instead we have the stereo garden hose reverb. Okay, really interesting here because you can kind of tell that it's out in the room. Uh, the stereo image is obviously a little bit narrower. And then also, this could be great for if you're having an issue with loud clangy cymbals in your room mics. Obviously, this is kind of a crazy idea. It looks crazy. It takes up a lot of space. But this could be one solution. So somebody commented on the build video for these microphone cases at a PVC. I wonder what it sounds like just with the case around the microphone. What if we just disconnect the hoses? So here's a demo of just the two cases, no hose connected. Okay, so that's pretty weird, but that's the sound it makes with just the microphone case. Now this PVC coupling is actually expandable. So as a test, I figured, hey, let's see what happens. So first, we're just gonna do just a normal test in the short position. Then I'll make one longer, and then I'll make them both long. Now the next request I got was to use two separate hoses, so one microphone on each hose. The ends of each of those hoses have been taped shut, so the sound going into the hose is coming through the actual rubber of the hose going down into the microphones. I'm wondering how much of the sound going into the far extremes of the garden hose is actually making it into the mic. And possibly what we're actually hearing is what's being collected more towards the top of the garden hose that's near the microphone. Uh, it's still a great sound. Uh, this is probably my favorite so far. But hey, you know, let's keep going. Somebody mentioned uh, put it in an orientation that is kind of like the way we cut an overhead. Um, where we go over the kick drum and kind of over the snare drum. And so let's try that first. Okay, now this sounds pretty weird. I mean, I would almost use this as like two flavors. So either or, uh, but probably not use them together and probably not hard pan them. So here's a demo of the garden hose oriented left to right over the drum kit. Ok, 
Okay, this sounds great, I think. Uh, real good stereo image, balance of the kit, uh, good tonality. Um, I could actually use this. Up to this point, it has not been a, a delay necessarily. We haven't been using the garden hose to transfer sound down it, okay? That's an important distinction. And so I got a lot of comments of like, you know, open it up and put a funnel on the end of it. And that's kind of a different effect, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it because it, it really deserves a shot here. Let's see how it works with just putting a funnel at the end of the garden hose. So let's see what happens if we extend this out a little bit and see if it changes the sound. I'm getting a little bit more brighter sound out of this, so it actually is working a little bit better to extend out the hose. I got a second garden hose, why don't we hook that in and see what doubling the distance does. So here's a delay of 100 feet. The sound going through the hose is starting to overtake the actual delayed sound. So either we need maybe a larger funnel or a larger diameter garden hose, a pipe, like the four inch corrugated pipe that Mixture Man and I used. That transfers the delay a lot better and you can actually hear individual taps too. Of course, at that point, you're taking up the entire room with a giant corrugated pipe. So it's not exactly something that you wanna have out. <laughs> it takes up literally your whole studio. Okay, so I'd love to know what you thought of this. This was a bit crazy. A ton of different demos in this video. I'll put a timestamp below in the comments. You can check out my Patreon if you want to support future videos. So I'll be hanging out in the comments below.